Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Frances Doherty, she's a city girl in a country world and now she's opening up her Brighton home for the Artist Open House exhibition. So let's take a look and see what's inside. I like to look right inside a plant and, and see what's happening internally. Something I see that might be tiny, I like to make it really big. I like to play with, with the scale in the work. But my inspiration always comes from, from plants and flowers and seed pods. Some sculptures will take a week or more to build and then weeks and weeks to dry out. It's painstaking work. I just love the making process. More than the final piece, I love actually working and making the piece and coming up with the ideas. I started making work to go outside and into the garden and that's really taken off and I just concentrate on that now. I don't have a background in botany or gardening, I just have a, a huge interest in the natural world and in plants and so I really wanted to show at Chelsea it's, it's the right sort of people to, to view my work mm -hmm. and appreciate it so I'm really excited to be going there. I don't think it's hard, I think it needs patience. Julie Tucker Williams makes exquisite jewellery which frankly I should be wearing. The first thing you do is always a bit raw and, and keen and then the second time you do it maybe you try and get a bit too clever and it doesn't happen the same uh, comfortable way that it did before. So quite often I'll maybe keep the first one that nobody knows about and then present the second one. Everybody kind of is inspired by nature, but also things like architecture, um, art movements, you know, the cogs of a train. I'm doing a pieces at the moment inspired by uh, John Logie Baird and his televisor. I'm using a lot more freshwater pearls in my work at the moment, which is something I never imagined I would be doing, because people associate pearls with being kind of quite frumpy and old fashioned is my determination to defrump the pearl because they're amazing things and they make you feel really lovely to wear them. You buy your basic bits of metal and then hammer and form it in a very kind of ancient way you know as long as we've made jewellery we've been hitting things with metal on metal and leaving making marks on there is quite an important part of it it just sort of tells the story of how it's been created. Seeing another art form, I think, really, um, and trying to capture that moment, um, that's the inspiring thing. Jane Denman is an artist known for her line drawings of dancers that seem to be moving as you look at them. It's called contour drawing. Um, uh, there are various forms of it. There's blind contour drawing, which means that you actually draw whilst you're looking at the subject, but you don't look at the paper. It's got to the stage where I don't you can't draw things that aren't sort of moving really and that's why I've chosen the dancers. Whether I get a good drawing out of it or not is, is in that moment it's not important it's just trying to connect. If you're not looking at the page while you're drawing yeah. how do you know when you've finished? Um, I don't. <laughs> in the dark when I'm at the performance I just keep going because the movement is still going so sometimes I'm not even sure if I'm on the same page there's so much that doesn't work um, and then now and then I get a, a small glimpse of what could be 